Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with the pistol configuration for the Static HV. This thing is so much fun that it should be illegal. Well, just about anything's fun is illegal or it's bad for you. This one's good for you. It's bad for the enemies. Let's take a look at the configuration. First and foremost, we're going no stock. What does no stock do for us? It amps up the recoil and those are composite numbers from all of the attachments, the sum total, everything I hung on this weapon. Look at the mobility, 4.3 ADS movement speed, ADS speed 139 milliseconds, and a mere 55 milliseconds for the sprint to fire speed. That's why I call this thing a pistol. It looks like a pistol, and you can sprint to fire like a pistol. You can see the rest of the numbers there, but let's take a look at the damage. 46 to the head, 39 to the upper torso. What's four times 39? Four times four is 160. If you keep it high, you're going to have a four shot kill. And what is that in terms of time to kill on a fully healthy enemy? That's roughly 13 rounds a second. That's about a 250 millisecond time to kill if you keep it high. How far out? 7.6 meters, but the thing gacks at distance 35.6. You'll find that out. And the bullet velocity is pretty good at 600 meters per second. So you can get those sprinting, jumping, sliding enemies further out than 10, 15 meters. Let's take a look at some of the other attachments. The Warchat 90 grip, again, red on the recoil, but green on the sprint to fire, 20%, and it's what helped get us down to 139 milliseconds. The Paracord grip, this is a go-to attachment for Grandpa. There is absolutely no red to it. it. Says some aim idle sway, I think, or what is it? No cons. There are absolutely no cons. So it helps by 19% the sprint to fire, 5% ADS movement, and movement speed is up at 5.7 meters per second. The Quartermaster Suppressor. You guys beat Grandpa up over that one. It hurts the sprint to fire by 12%, so you may want to go with the Shadow Strike, which you'd get a 49 millisecond sprint to fire and 130 millisecond ADS speed. But I'll stick with the Quartermaster since y'all like to see it. The Auger 840 Light Barrel. Lights up mobility and handling. Also, 1.8 degrees per second in hip fire. So this is a hip fire maven here. The tactical stance is below 2 at 1.6 degrees per second. It lights up the recoil 10%. That's fairly significant. Speaking of recoil, let's take this into the shooting range and have a quick look at it. The static HV pistol. First, we'll fire hip shots straight as an arrow, straight up. 50 rounds. Next, aim down sight. And it goes straight up, maybe a little curve to the right, very easily controllable. Let's take this static HV machine pistol onto the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa. See what it did to Grandpa's sometimes angry enemies. Let's go. All right, let's get into this. Now, I when I spawned in, I didn't start the recorder so i started at about what is it seven kills into the into this match and there i am looks just like a pistol i'm ranking it up for mastery for the for the uh token so i put it back to gold quick moving couldn't find anybody there even though the guy stepped in paint there's a little jump shot and that thing just eliminates people head on this is so much fun oh there's the same guy is going to try to he's going to try to melee grandpa that's elder abuse there and he pays the ultimate penalty for it whoa white furry triple gives grandpa he doesn't see him now i think we've solved the problem of the aim assist or the recoil looking different in game than it does in the shooting range number one from my research there is no aim assist in shooting range or it doesn't work well or only occasionally works but number two and it was you subs and comments that helped me out that said well wait a minute the reason why you don't see as much recoils aim assist is helping you in game it's not helping you anywhere else so thanks 
to you and your brilliance, I tend to agree with that. So keep that in mind when you're looking at recoil, because you saw that one shot as straight as an arrow. That aim assist is helping you lock onto the target, so it's important to lock onto the target. And then you'll get the aim assist, and then all of a sudden that recoil goes away. So if you're not hitting the target with the first shots, you're going to deal with the recoil. I tend to agree with that one. I think uh, I got myself hoisted on my own petard. Proximity mine there. White furry tribbles dropping dollars everywhere. Grandpa doesn't have time to stop and pick them up, though. If this were real, not sure that I would pass by that amount of cash flying through the air. What is this guy doing? a straight shot no recoil and two we get the white furry triple back this weapon is absolutely deleting people it is farming them you guys know grandpa and his skill level so when you see when you see me shooting like this you know all right we just got about six more gax to go and we're going to take this one to the locker room with the big W, have a party afterward, champagne everywhere, spraying, interviewed by the news. ESPN's coming in to talk to Grandpa about this particular win. There is a GAC with a mosquito drone. Uh, let's see if we can trap somebody into doing the worst thing you could do on COD, and that's follow somebody around the corner that already knows you're there. Three more GAX and we're done. Ooh, that's a bad time to put out a mosquito drone when you're getting shot by two people. So those of, of you, which it's only one or two who said, oh, you're using something that's not your play. It's uh, You're doing something to control the recoil. Yeah, I'm using aim assist and you guys with uh, PCs, I understand, don't have this capability. So there's the win. It's a Snickers win, 30 kills. Grandpa doesn't look too excited over it, but wait till he gets in the locker room. You'll see him cutting the rug there. So the thing's a bullet hose. Looks like a pistol. Shoots like a SMG because it is an SMG. And let's, let's visit Tokyo and see what happens. Well, what happens is Grandpa buys the farm. Have y'all noticed that there's so many double events going on in this game? It's like everybody's trying, like they're trying to rank everybody up as high as you can go. I mean, in other titles, I used to have to use all of my double XP tokens for weapons and for rank and for the uh the battle pass whatever that thing is and in this i have not used one single double xp token because it is so easy to get xp in this game they're trying to equalize everyone so getting highly ranked is really no big deal which is kind of disappointing because it's one of the things that i work for is grind to get the rank and this one you get the rank just by breathing all right where are these people is there anybody in there answer yes and incredible rubber man oh we don't want to mess with that incredible rubber man didn't have a chance i mean you come in head on with this thing you pull the trigger the person falls even if they have a pink rifle Somebody's got a confuser up there, but that's okay. And free for all things change so quickly. Whoa. That was <laughs> the quick movement of the weapon. Oh, Grandpa was considering jumping off the map. Just building angles, looking for the wrestling pro. Now, some people comment that I keep my crosshairs low, and I actually keep them in the middle. And that's just where I like it, because my engagements are close. 
I tend to do a lot of jump shooting and people do a lot of drop shooting and if you have them too high and you get dropped especially if they have those aftermarket steroids with the auto drop shot then uh, you're going to get gacked you're going to be sold the farm so confusers don't bother grandpa except in hard point if i'm in free for all i kind of monitor there's somebody in there. I kind of monitor the mini map, but it's not an absolute necessity because I'm always building angles. Whoa, that person angled his bullets right into poor grandpa's back. So I'd, I'd like you all to try this. I want to share the fun. Try this configuration. Let me know what you think, but let me know what you think on a couple of levels number one is the recoil is scary in game as the statistics would imply but number two how much fun is it i mean is is grandpa right about this or is he oh look at there you can turn on people oh jump shot see that that person was just laying down he's a muppet and uh, my crosshairs in the middle help with the muppetizing. Maybe it's a free-for-all thing. Now, I do keep them higher when I'm sniping, I'll admit that, because I like to get upper torso. Ooh. Grandpa just got destroyed. Melted. There's pink rifle. Yeah, running for the edge of the map again. I mean, the thing shoots straight as an arrow no matter what the recoil says. It puts the bullets out fast. The range seems to be more than seven and a half meters or so because with the bullets coming that fast all the way out to about 30 meters, you're going to gack people, and you're going to gack them quickly. There's a Muppet. Put out the Skeeter. Do some work. Oh, wrestling pro. Ah, Skeeter got you though, didn't it? So like I said, I, I really like the comments. We, you guys are very engaged, y'all are. And I learn a lot from you leaving those comments, especially my conspiracy theory about recoil. Just need one more gag. And it's going to be a Snickers win, but there's only one second left. So no Snickers win for Grandpa, but the weapon performed flawlessly. It's a permanent class for me now. So please like and subscribe. Give me your suggestions, your comments. Let me know how you did with the Static HV pistol. Cheers and peace to you.